is a uh, quick update for me out of the hospice. Um, for the people who don't know this yet, uh, I am in a hospice right now. And a hospice in the Netherlands is a place where you go to um, before you die. So you have to, uh, you need a, um, uh, a doctor to, to tell them that you um, have less than three months to live. And if you have that, then you are allowed to go there. And it's a place where there can be ca taken care of you uh, by, uh, by nurses. And, um, and it's a very nice place to stay. So that the last months or weeks or days of your life can be as comfortable as possible for yourself and also for your family. And it's very special that I'm allowed to be here because um, um, uh, usually uh, a psychiatric disorder like an eating disorder is an exception and you're not allowed to come here uh, but they did make an exception for me and I am here right now so it's a blessing that I can be here because I really can't take care of myself anymore and I really need help just to things like getting dressed and undressed and take a shower and wash myself and help me with the food and the drinking, etc. So it's very, very, really a blessing that I can be here. Um, and, uh, but it's also very double because, you know, uh, people here come to die and there are um, five places. There's five uh, small studios. Every, every patient has an own studio here. And, um, for example, the day before yesterday, uh, a man arrived here and yesterday he already died. And that was really a shock to see that and to experience that. And um, when I'm here, it's not the a depressing um, surrounding or something. It's really beautiful here. And in a later, uh, on another time, I will make a, a, a small video for you to show you my, my uh, studio here and a little how it's how it's going here and then uh, i will just show you around but i will do that another time when i'm still alive to do so for now uh, i just wanted to tell you that i'm very thankful that i can be here um, and um, that they made this exception um, um, it is something that is um, um, quite expensive so it's it's a hard thing if you want to support me to stay here, just uh, click on the link below the video. But please feel free to do so. Uh, uh, no pressure whatsoever. It's just, uh, it would be helpful, but that's not uh, the most important thing. Every single day that I'm alive and that I'm briefing and that I'm able to see you and you and me um, and to share um, is, 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 is already great. And everything I share is to help other people to prevent them from um, going the way uh, I have gone and all the pain and prevents them from doing making the same mistakes as I did and and maybe just that you won't feel as alone in your own struggle because I know for sure everybody who is watching this has his own struggles because every human being on earth has this and there is no, no such thing as uh, uh, less pain or more pain it's not about um, the objective amount of pain or struggle you you cope with because your struggle is yours and you alone experience how much it impacts your own life and um, I will always take that seriously and I will share my pain and struggle with you um, um, so maybe you can can yeah um, use it for the better for yourself for today i just wanted to share that um, i had a conversation uh, with uh, some specialists of the eating disorder clinic and i was really waiting if they could help me while i'm staying here and if they were they were uh, not only able but also willing to help me and today i heard that they are going to help me um, by zoom once a week so then I will have a dietitian, a therapist, and uh, a, a medical specialist who I can uh, 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 ask for, for help for once a week. 
and that's a start and I'm very thankful for that because without them I wouldn't know what to do and oh the special thing is here by the way I totally forget my mind is a little messed up because I'm so tired and so weak right now so I'm a little all over the place but usually you go to a hospice to die within three months so you don't have much more time <laughs> when you don't die in three months you, yeah it's it's you have to go anyway but it's a very strange situation but um, I have made um, um, an appointment with the people here that I have six weeks to find out whether it's possible for me to stay alive six weeks so half of the time of the three months and if it's possible if I am able to make a change within that six weeks and show that my body is still able to recover in a, in a positive way oh, recovery is always positive but to recover and that it's really making a difference and that it's really um, uh, that they that I can see that my body is still going in a positive direction and that that means that there is still a chance to survive um, then they will 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 allow me to do whatever I can within those six weeks to reach that usually it's not allowed but they make an exception for that so that means I am allowed to uh, ask um, uh, for help for example, now for, for a pe from people for the medical clean, uh, for medical persons, usually it's not allowed to do so because you come here to die. So you're not allowed to do anything that will postpone your life. Uh, no, you're not allowed to take any medicines. You're not allowed to to do let your blood work be done, etc. And they're making an exception for me for that. So I have only five and a half weeks left because I'm here for uh, uh, five days almost. So. A little less than uh, six weeks uh, five weeks uh, left a little more than five weeks and um, so I'm very thankful that the clinic um, uh, is willing to help me and then I have to prove that I can do it and that my body can do it and that last part I'm yeah that's not up to me that's up to my higher power and uh, to trust and just do what they tell me to do and find out if that's going to work out. It's very scary because I got a plan now uh, that I'm very scared about. I think I will tell you later more about that plan because I'm now too tired. But uh, th th the big picture is actually that I am, of course, uh, will need to eat um, much more. And um, we will start mainly with um, uh, nutri meals. Uh, um, so that's food especially for people it's like um, tube feeding but then you can eat and drink it yourself but it's actually the same um, uh, substance so it's uh, a lot of calories in a very small package uh, so very calorie dense and your body doesn't have to do anything to digest it so it's very easy for your body to just take it and use it for the best and I will have to take that a few times a day and the other moments uh, from the food I will, will, will be allowed to have food I just want to have myself and I will have a complete uh, warm meal um, three courses uh, once a day as well and um, I have to be a little careful because there's something like a refeeding syndrome and that means that um, uh, going back to a very high calorie dense diet uh, can kill you when you are this um, underweight but they are also um, thinking of that of course and and helping me uh, to uh, prevent uh, getting into the refeeding but it's a very scary process I'm really really scared and I have to do everything myself so um, they are able for example here to help me get out of bed out of on time so I can start a day um, uh, not that late and have enough time to have all my meals but the eating and the amounts and the choices etc are totally up to me um, and I'm only accountable to myself and to my higher power and that's it so it's my own pos um, responsibility and that's hard when you have an eating disorder 
Um, but I am very motivated and I hope everything is going to be well. I will share as much as I can and as I dare to with you all. Maybe I will even do a water eat in a day. <laughs> it will be maybe a little boring because there will be lots of Nutri meals in there. <laughs> they are all the same. But uh, maybe when there's some fun food in there, I will also uh, make a, a video of it so you can see that. And maybe my normal meals, maybe you like to see it, how, what that looks like, I don't know. But maybe I will film that for you too. Let me know if you're interested in the comments below. Um, that would be helpful. Um, and um, yeah, I will take you al along as much as I can and share as much as I can. And uh, when you have questions, when you want to know more, if there are things you want to see or ask specifically or want me to make a video about or how, how I experience that or do that or feel about things, just let me know. Um, I want to do what's helpful for you. I'm, don't make these videos for me because if I would, I wouldn't ever film this because it's, it's so hard and shameful still for me. Um, but I do it for you and for a good purpose. And I hand it over to my higher power what he wants to do with it. And I trust that that is always for the better. So it's with lots of love and uh, I share this. It is, this is really just being in community, being uh, a loving being in this world and being there for each other, even in the midst of our most um, uh, uh, fearful and worst moments of, of, of your of your life and um, if this day would be my last day I want to know that I have done everything I can to to give whatever I have and I will keep doing that every single day I'm still alive well um, thank you for listening and um, big hug out of the Netherlands and um, like I said anything you want to know you're interested in whatever let me know and come on, comment uh, down below. And um, if you don't want to miss anything, then please click the subscribe button, put a like on it, and you will always get a message when there's a new video. So big hug from me and till next time. Bye bye.